Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about ammunition. Now, before I do, I want to tell you two things. This is going to be a very short video, and at the end of the video, if I don't forget, I have something else that has nothing to do with this that I think you'll find real interesting and you might like. Okay, the first thing I want to bring before you is there is a bill that is before Congress right now. It's called the Stop Online Ammunition Sales Act of 2017. Now, I know, 2017, hold your jets. It is still before Congress. The last time it was looked at was in 2018. Uh, the bill number is HR 3962. You can go to congress.gov to look at it. Basically what they want done is the requirement for face-to-face -face sales and licensing of ammunition. Okay, so not only do they want to stop it being sold online completely, they want to stop online sales completely of ammunition. They want it to be face-to-face, -face, which obviously it would be, but sales and licensing of ammunition. Now, you don't need a license to buy ammunition, but if they have their way, you will have. In my state, I can purchase a gun through someone selling a gun out of the paper, in some town around here, I can buy his am the guy's ammunition from him. I don't have to have any permission to do that. I don't have a license to buy it, and he doesn't need a license to sell it to me. Okay, every state's different, but if the Congress has their way, they're going to try. It's actually just the Democrats. They're going to try to stop all online sales of ammunition and require licensing to purchase it. So, just wanted you guys to be aware of that. All right, next. One of my subscribers asked me about ammunition. One of his first questions was, how long will ammunition last? And at first I kind of, forgive me, I thought that was kind of a silly question, you know, but that's totally unfair. Uh, I figured my mind immediately went to like forever, indefinitely, but it's not, kinda. Uh, basically, if you go online, um, there is all the manufacturers make the statement that they give ammunition kept free from humidity a 10-year shelf life okay so basically they're saying it's gonna last 10 years they have to put something there okay they're not gonna tell you it'll last forever it's indefinite and all that but they do say when it's kept free from humidity so that brings up a big thing here in Kansas, it's very humid here, extremely humid here. I take out a five-gallon bucket of water every day during the summer because of the humidity that is in our house, in the room where I keep everything stored at. Now, that room, I will say, does not have air conditioning in it. Uh, our regular air conditioning for our house dehumidifies as the air conditioner is running, but where things are stored, there is no air conditioning, so I have to run a dehumidifier. Dehumidifier, five gallons of water a day. That's a lot of humidity. So you must have quality oxygen absorbers to take care of your ammo. Now you can buy them online. You can get them anything from small packets um, to very large packets, flat packets, um, that you can put with your ammunition. Or, you can buy what I'm going to show you here in just a second, a can, a canister uh, of oxygen absorber for gun safes. Now, most guys, I'm not saying everybody does, not everybody can afford it, but most guys that have more than one gun have a gun safe, okay? And they would want this can that I'm going to show you uh, right here. Take a look at this. Okay, you saw the orange colored uh, pellets there, silica pellets. What's really cool about these cans, first of all, you saw it's a large can. It's a good size can, okay? That goes in the bottom of your safe. Because it's as big as it is, it really sucks up a lot of moisture out of the air. Much better than the little silica packets do. So, that being the case, those cans, in my opinion, are the best way to go. That color of the orange pellets that are in there, the silica pellets, 
when they are 60% uh, used up, in other words, they've, they're about, they've absorbed 60% of the moisture that they can absorb, they will start to turn green. Once they've turned to dark green, it's time to get rid of them, okay? And then you buy another can. So it's not like you don't know when to replace them, which I think is excellent. So when they go from orange to green, time to get a new can. So if your ammunition is well taken care of with oxygen absorbers, um, it will last you, according to manufacturers, 10 years. It'll last much longer of that because I have ammunition right now that was left over from when my dad was alive when I was a boy in high school because we had a lot. I still fire that ammunition and there is nothing wrong with it. Nothing. Now, I'm an old man. I'm 60, okay? In 1976 was when this ammo, most of this ammunition was purchased um, that my dad had purchased. And it still fires today and there's nothing wrong with it. So it will last if you take care of it. Okay, now lastly, the other question that I received was, if you want to store your guns off-site because you're afraid of weapons conf uh, being confiscated, okay? If you want to do that, how do you do that? All right, well, I'm going to show you this right here. Check this picture out. Okay. You notice the AR-15 was in a Mylar bag. That bag can be cut down to any size you want. Of course, you can purchase them in various sizes as well. What you do is with those Mylar bags, just like you would your food, you put the gun dry, cleaned, oiled a little bit like you're gonna normally do, just take care of it, wipe it down, pop it in the Mylar bag, put in the oxygen absorbers that come with it. You don't have to buy them separate. They actually come with that bag, which is really cool. There's two of them. They go in the bag, and then you vacuum seal the bag. In doing so, so long as you do not puncture the Mylar bag, that gun will not get all rusty, and it'll be fine um, and protected well, depending on what you store it in and where you store it and how you store it. Basically, though, the gun will be well protected in the Mylar bag so long as you don't puncture the bags. So that's how you take care of that problem. All right. Basically, that's it. I hope that you guys found that interesting. I know a lot of you have commented that you're totally new to this. You've never had a weapon before. You're just getting your first weapon. Uh, several of you, in fact, uh, messaged me and told me that you were getting uh, your first handgun after you saw the one about my wife's uh, 380. Well, I think that's really awesome. Get some professional instruction. Get some safety instruction learn how to use those guns. They won't do you any good on a shelf. You must practice, practice, practice all the time. Not just standing still. Stand, kneel, prone position. Moving, running back and forth, walking back and forth, shooting at your target. Anyway, practice, practice, practice. So that's it. I hope you found it helpful. Now, for the closing statement. The last thing I want to tell you guys is uh, myself, real world prepper, and Zombie Farmer are going to be putting, as soon as we get the details worked out, we're trying, uh, we're going to have a live Q&A session where the three of us will all be on at the same time in our respective locations, but you'll be able to see all three of us at once, and uh, it'll be a Q&A time, so you'll be able to answer questions at all, and we'll answer them for you. You can ask, we'll answer, sorry. Um, now, we're not really sure when that's going to happen, we're trying to work out the details. However, uh, Zombie Farmer had uh, an online session just two days ago, two evenings ago, and I was there, not on camera. Real World Prepper was there, not on camera. Zombie was on camera, and we were all talking back and forth with his subs. And some of you guys that were my subs said hi, and you were there too. So that was really cool. That was nice to say hi to you. So we're working on that. And as soon as we get the details worked out, I'll make a video and let you know when to hop online if you want to talk to us. Thanks for watching. That's it. Stay safe. Stay alert. Okay. Um, any questions or comments, you know where to put them uh, in the comment section. And <laughs> if you're going to subscribe, 
Uh, that'd be awesome. I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell that's up here. And you'll be notified when we get a new video out. So that's it. You guys take care and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.